Hey everyone, this is Just a Little Lost here, and today I'm doing a review for the new scent that um, Bath and Body Works will be having coming out called Be Enchanted. And I'll start off with the packaging because the packaging is really pretty. It's like a plain purple and white background that is um, slightly metallic in certain places, like where the purple is, it's metallic, where the white is, it's not. Um, the flowers here are not metallic, though the pink background behind it is, and the silver vining is metallic too, so it's a really interesting effect, it's one of the prettier packages that I've seen in quite some time, see? And it's got, um, Be Enchanted, and, well, in cursive, cursive, not cursive, you know, it's one of those in-between writings what it looks like. Now, from reading the description, you wouldn't think that this itself would be a um, fall release scent or a scent released during this time of year because it has pomegranate and it's got florals in it. What makes it work for fall is that it's a very, very cold scent. Like where warm vanilla sugar and sweet pea has a warmth to it, this is a very cold scent. I mean, because like, you know, in some pomegranate scents, it's not a candy pomegranate. It's a very um, warm, earthy, normal, regular smelling pomegranate, like you cut it open or you open a bottle of juice. This has so much sugar, scented sweetness, It's so it makes it very frosty smelling. Which would kind of, I'd expect this out in winter, not right now, but... Probably because it comes out next month when it's winter. Um, I don't smell very much fruit in this. I mean, it's so frosted and candy smelling that it really just kind of absorbs to the whole sweet kind of thing. And it's such a light pomegranate too. I mean, you won't, it's a very light scent in general. You won't get a very strong scent throw out of this. Um, I do get some florals. Um, can't quite pinpoint what kind of florals. It's kind of like maybe not rose, but like, you know how some people put like, can't make candy roses and they get like egg whites or water or something like that and they wash the petals and then they dredge it in sugar and it's like a, it's like a candy rose. It's kind of like that, but with the, um, Daisy floral, maybe? Daisy? Maybe a little bit of rose in there, too, which is probably what made me think of the candy rose. Yeah, maybe, like, not one of those, like, regular garden roses, but, like, one time I smelled, um, one of my friends in our garden had a, ro a type of rose, and it's, like, my favorite ever. It's pink and yellow, and the flowers are huge. And they're called, I think, Double Your Pleasure Roses because as pretty as they are, they have like three times the scent throw as a normal rose. I love those. Which is what I kind of get from here. And I'd like it more if it wasn't, if the rose was stronger because it's overpowered by the icy candy sugary smell. Because I haven't had any lotion that smells like that in ever. I haven't found anything like that. But if for a fall scent, this isn't bad. I'd expect it to be stronger because during this time of year, we tend to go for stronger smells. It's really, really, really light. I'm like, I'm, I'm interested to see how the body spray and the perfume will smell like because, I mean, this is really light. I mean, I don't think this lasts you a whole long time. It's pretty. Um, except instead of getting the body spray, if you want that, you may want to get the the actual perfume version because I could see this wearing off really fast. Um, would I buy it? As pretty as the scent is, I would have to wait to see like how the actual full size smell, and maybe get like a small thing of perfume and see how long that lasts because. I don't know. I like things that last 
quite a bit because I can't keep just applying perfume and lotions and stuff throughout the day most of the time. So I mean, as much as I like the perfume and um, the scent and the packaging, I have to wait and see. So I reserve judgment. So I'd say this is pretty. I'd say it's very light. If you don't like the traditional heavy spicy sense of um of um, um like a uh, pumpkin pie for this time of year and even when you get into summer and um not summer into winter where you get like the piney scents and the heavy gingerbread cookie scents if you're not so into that but you like sweet scents and you're not so into the heavy um floral uh no fruity scents like the plum scents and the apple scents this would be good for you because you smell mostly cream and vanilla and sugar and everything else is kind of like takes a back seat to that and while i like that i kind of wish because that rose scent in here is really nice i wish that was a little bit stronger but it's not a bad scent and it's so light that you'd have to see what the perfume and stuff smells like and how long that lasts so we'll see about that when that comes out but this is a good little buy for a dollar. I buy these, keep them in my purse. I still have a bunch of, let me get them. Oh, they're not there. Uh -huh. Well, I normally keep a bunch behind my desk, but they're not there, which is okay. They're probably all in my purse. So yeah, I like them. They're cute. Smells good. If you like the scent, you'll be applying often probably because this one's one of the lightest scents that they have. Um, it's weird because this reminds me of something that they already kind of have out. Kind of like if warm vanilla sugar had a uh, cousin, this would probably be it <laughs> right here. So, um, yeah. Any questions, let me know. And I hope you have a good day and night wherever you are. And hope to talk to you soon.